Hey guys, welcome to Pulled Pin Productions. Today we're doing something a little bit different from the normal filmmaking or short films. Today I am joined by John Pampu, who is a tech enthusiast. Today he is going to be showing you how to connect LED lights to your subwoofer. Why don't you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, so basically what we're going to do today is we're going to take some 12-volt uh, LED lights and configure them on a subwoofer to make them flash to the beat of the music. Alright, so some of the things you're going to need to do this project is obviously a subwoofer. In this case, we have chosen the Logitech Z906 subwoofer. It's a pretty decent sized subwoofer. It's for a surround tone system that Matthew Grower had in his basement and he asked me to do this to that, so that's what we chose to use. We also are going to need a heat gun or something that creates a little bit of heat. You could even use to use a lighter. Uh, what we're going to do with that is just go around the uh, glue that holds the grill on to be able to pop that off so we can get at the screws of the subwoofer. Also, you'll want a paper clip that you've bent into a uh, straight piece that we will insert into the grill and pull it, help pull it out with a needle nose pliers or some other kind of pliers. You will also need a flat blade screwdriver and a small Phillips screwdriver for taking out the screws. Then also, you'll obviously need some LEDs. We chose to use these uh, 20 inch ultra bright blue flex strip lights. We picked these up at a local hardware store and they're made for automobiles but it's fine because all you need is something that runs on 12 volts. Finally, we need a soldering iron and some solder to make the connections. Now let's get into it. We take the heat gun to loosen the glue around the surface of the grill and then we use the pliers and the paper clip to pull the grill off. And once we've done that, we got a grill off. And then, as you can see, right here, around the edge of the subwoofer, there are eight different Phillips screws. And what we're gonna wanna do is take your Phillips screwdriver and start unscrewing those. So after you have finished unscrewing all eight screws, you want to gently pull off this little, or grab it by this plastic covering, and then you'll be able to pull out your subwoofer. And once you do that, you just want to set it to the side for now, and we'll get into the next step. All right. So once you've disconnected your subwoofer from the subwoofer leads inside of the enclosure, you're going to want to find the places where the, uh, the little prongs here, where the wire is connected. And what you're gonna do with those is you're gonna take the wires from your LED lights and solder those onto the little pad connectors here so that when the subwoofer gets power, the lights also get power, which will make them turn on. All right, so the next step is when you get your LED lights out of the packaging, is you're gonna to wanna to cut the wires, all these extra connectors and stuff that's made to plug into like a 12 volt outlet of the car, we don't need that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pliers right here that have a little cutting edge, and we're gonna snip these wires about a foot from the LED lights. And now that we've done that, we're going to throw those to the side and we're going to take our little wire strippers here and we are going to, first of all, uh, separate the two wires and then we will strip them and get them ready for soldering. So once we've got the wires separated on one of the LED strips, we're going to want to take our wire strippers, find which one seems about the right size and strip off the ends so we expose the bare copper so that we're ready for soldering to the subwoofer connectors. As you can see there, we've got both of the wires stripped and ready to go. One tip is that to know which wire is the positive and which is the negative, the positive wire is going to have a white stripe on it or the negative one does not. And we'll do the same for the other side. So after you've figured out or stripped your wires, then what you're going to want to do is look at the subwoofer prongs again. And on this subwoofer it says that the positive one is over here, the bigger prong, and the negative one is the smaller prong. I think that's pretty standard for most speakers. What you're going to want to do is take the wire on the lights that has the white stripe and solder them to the positive side and solder the pure black wire to the negative side.
Alright, so now that we finished soldering the wires of the LED lights to the subwoofer connectors, we connected the subwoofer back to the power source. Right there, as you can see, as the LED lights are soldered. And we're going to just do a little bit of a test run to make sure we know that the connections are loose and everything's working properly. So let's try it. Now we're going to reassemble the subwoofer now that we know that it works. So we're going to start by just placing it into the cage and lining it up with the holes. Alright, so now we're going to take the screws and start screwing it back together. Alright, so the final step now will be applying your LED lights onto the surface that you want them to be on. And we're going to do that by peeling away the protectant on the back, which will reveal the adhesive. These lights have adhesive built into the back. And for this job, we are going to be placing the lights around the inner circle here, right next to the driver. So to do that, we're going to stick them to the inside ring here and just press them to the side so that they adhere. Let's flip this subwoofer back into its normal position and see how it looks. Oh, oh, oh.